uh, we're moving it from the back of the book now to the front of the book. And uh, F1 is kind of a quickie section in that uh, essentially there's, there's just a couple of formulas and it becomes more plug and chug than anything else. And F1 deals with the distance formula and the midpoint formula, uh, both of which will come in handy for us as we study the, um, uh, as we study circles, that's in conic sections, that's where they're going to come in into play more than anything else. We remind ourselves there's such a thing called the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says that if you have a right triangle, and that's what this guy is, and normally we denote it looks like something like that. The longest side is called the hypotenuse. The two legs, the distance, the length is A and B. Those are called legs. Pythagoras said that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sums of the squares of the two sides. Okay. Now that's where the distance formula is going to come from. So that if I had two coordinate points, uh, this would be x1, y1, this would be x2, y2, and I draw a line segment through those two points. There are several things we could do with that. We could find the uh, slope of the line between those two points because that's something that we've done before. We could find the uh, uh, equation of the line between those two points. That's something we've also done before. We could also find the distance between those two points. All of that comes off of that same particular idea and using those same coordinates. Now, as we uh, look at this, we would look at setting up a triangle. There's a right triangle. And the distance on this side is going to be the large distance, which is x2, subtract the small distance, which is x1. That gives you the length of that leg. If I go on this side, this distance here is I take the long distance, which is y2, subtract off the short distance, which is y1, that gives you the length of that leg. So the Pythagorean theorem says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now, the label here, the hypotenuse is normally c, I'm going to call that D for distance. So Pythagoras says that the distance squared is equal to A is the length of one side, which is x2 minus x1 squared plus the distance or length of the other side is y2 minus y1 squared. And that comes from the Pythagorean theorem. But I'm not interested in the distance squared. I'm interested in the distance. So what we do is, if we take the square root of both sides, we get that d is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And this we call the distance formula. That's the infamous distance formula. Now the reason why, one of the reasons why I go through that is, is if you kind of know where it comes from, if you don't remember the formula, you can derive it. You draw the picture, you can sometimes, sometimes you can figure it out. So the distance. Then from this on, if we're going to use it, it then becomes a plug and chug.